What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, Soul Squad? You saw the thumbnail. You know what we're making. We are making a tuna melt with the hot and cold combination. Grab you some good old brioche bread. Without brioche bread, you like. Sit back, relax. You see all the ingredients. Hit that intro. Hit that intro. Okay, guys, we start off with our eggs. I got three cans of tuna fish. We like a lot of eggs and our tuna fish. And you wonder why you're doing a voiceover? Because everybody is home on this day. Me making this tuna fish. You got noise in the background. It's like too much noise. So you guys had to get a voiceover. I was in the mood for something quick and easy to cook for lunch. And I was like, what y'all want? Everybody was like, tuna fish. I said, you know what? Let's make a tuna melt. So I got my eggs right here. I'm chopping them up. They were still hot. They had just came off the stove. So I was trying not to use my hands. So I'm chopping my eggs up as fine as I can get them. You know, sometimes I like my eggs a little bit chunky because when I bite it to my tuna fish, I want to have like a chunky egg. But I know everybody know how to make tuna fish. You make it, you know, how you like it. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here chopping the eggs up. I'm going to get them really, really fine. As, as fine, you know, as fine as I, you know, want them in there because I still like them kind of chunky. And I hope I got enough eggs. My family love eggs in the um, tuna fish. Well, I got three cans of tuna and I was like five eggs, three cans of tuna. That's, that's, that's pretty good. So I got the eggs chopped up really fine. I used tuna with water. So what I did is that I drained the water off the tuna and I'm going ahead and put all my tuna into my um, bowl right over top of my eggs. Let's get it in. Let's get it done. Now, I don't eat a lot of different things in my tuna fish. You might as well say I'm like a plain tuna type of girl, okay? Because I'm just going to go in with um, my eggs and um, three cans of tuna. And once we get all three cans of tuna in here, then we're going to use our seasoning to season, um, to season our tuna fish all up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to with my second can of tuna. You got to be careful with the little sharp edges, guys. And make sure you drain it all. Some people, I don't know if some people do or do not drain. Comment below, um, do you do not drain your um, water off your tuna? Now, I used to use tuna with oil. When I say used to, I meant like way back, like 20-something years ago. And um, I just discovered I like the tuna in water. And I think used to tuna with oil came from my mom and my grandmother. I think that's the way they used to do it. So when I started grocery shopping way back when, but when I discovered, okay, you getting the water with not all that oil, I was like, let's go for it. So now what I'm about to do is take my spoon. And again, if you had gloves on, you could go in with your hands and just really Get that tuna fish crumbled up. Get it crumbled down. But I'm using my spoon, my wooden spoon, to chop this tuna fish all up to get it all nice and um, crumbly up in my bowl. So, yes, that's what I'm about to do right now, guys. Get my tuna as crumbly as I can get it. Because be lead it to whole and you go bite into it. You're going to bite into a big piece of tuna that's not going to have any flavor, not going to have no mayonnaise or none of that stuff. So, you really want to, um, especially be using a spoon, Spoon, mix and chop your um tuna up real fine. So I'm chopping mine into my eggs. I put my eggs in my bowl first. So I'm just um mixing my tuna and my um eggs all up together, just trying to get a real good mixture here. And as I'm mixing, I'm like stirring and chopping. So as I find those big pieces of um tuna, I can really you know get on up in there. And get that um and get that tuna fish really fine and small. As fine and small as I as the eggs, but make sure I don't have any like big overlapping big pieces in this tuna. Okay, now that I got everything um mixed well, I'm gonna start seasoning. I use like garlic powder, 
onion powder and stuff in my um, tuna. So that's what I'm doing now. Remember, just start off really, really small, not to put too much because when you add it in seasoning, you will go ahead and you can um, add more, but you can't never take away. And this is my onion powder. The first one was scarlet powder, and this is onion powder. Now, you guys know I am a pepper girl. So I'm going all in with my pepper. I use a lot. And then it wasn't that much in here. So I was really trying, you know, <laughs> do the shake, 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 shake this pepper out, get it out. So it seemed like it's a lot, but it's just enough for me. Remember, your kitchen, your way, my kitchen, my way. And let's not forget this mustard. Yes, I add mustard to my tuna fish. It's just a thing to do. And at this point, like if you like your onions and your celery and all that stuff, if you add your mustard and stuff in there, you know, by all means, start adding your vegetables i love some relish i've been some sweet relish in here as much as you want um i like a lot of relish in my tuna so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just going ahead and adding my relish with the juice and oil and this is a sweet relish this is not like a pickle because you know they got relish but it'd be like pickle relish i do not like pickle relish my mom used to make so many steaks when buying relish and not paying attention and she go home and be like oh you got pickle relish and I, don't, I do not like that when they shake by little teeny pickles. I just don't like them. A lot of people put it in their potato salad. I got some mayonnaise. I'll, I'll go to mayonnaise. It's craft. Now, with the mayonnaise, I like a dry tuna, like my potato salad. So, I'm not going to put a lot of um, tuna um, mayonnaise in this. I'm going to say this is about like a half a cup of mayonnaise right here. And we're going to stir it up. And that's all I use. Because I don't like it overly, um, I don't like a sloppy tuna. I like kind of a dry tuna. So that's all I use right here. It's just like um, eggs, mustard, the seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, um, some relish, and just some mayonnaise. And it's like five eggs, three cans of tuna. And I get, the again, the tuna with the water. And what we're doing here, I'm just mixing everything up really really well so i can make sure i don't because just like the seasoning you don't want to add too much mayonnaise you want to add a little bit as possible and then gradually as you mix and you stir and if it's looking too dry to you then you can add a little bit of mayonnaise but uh, you know i did good you know even though I said it's like a half a cup, it was about a half a cup, and it was just enough. I didn't have to add anything extra to this. So this tuna fish, it came out really, really well. Um, just stirring that mayonnaise up, getting it stirring in. Again, even while I'm stirring this mayonnaise, I'm mixing this mayonnaise up, I'm still chopping because I'm still filling for um, big pieces of tuna. So let me taste it. Grab my fork. Okay, this is good. I don't need nothing else. It tastes good. It came out great. All that I'm going to do is that put a piece of little foil on here, sit her to the side, and we're about to get started on what our second part of this video, because this is a tuna melt. I haven't had one of these in such a long time. And I was like, you know what? It's Friday. It's like a fish day. Is tuna fish considered a fish? It's a fish day. So why not make tuna melt <laughs> for lunch? So this is what we had for lunch. Um, this tuna melt and I'm, you know, it came out really, really good. I had no complaints about this tuna melt. All right, guys, I got a piece of, um, paper towel down. Again, when I'm making my tuna melt, any type of sandwich, you always want good bread. Now, I'm not telling you go out buying no brioche bread. Remember, I always say, again, let me repeat this, your, your kitchen, your way, my kitchen, my way. And I wanted some good, thick bread a sturdy bread and I'm using cheddar cheese um you don't have to use cheddar cheese and then I realized when making this I was like it tastes so good but I think I would have preferred American cheese it's just this is just what I do I think I'm so used to that cheese but the cheddar cheese wasn't bad on it but if I could make any changes um in this video I think I would have used the American cheese most definitely but again it was still good it was a tuna melt it's a, it's a classic um you can't go wrong with that y'all having such a hard time getting this package open that's why I'm like, oh my goodness, what you want to do? But I'm going to finally get her open. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put two pieces of cheese, one on this bread and one on the other bread. And we're going to go over to the stove. I got my pan over there on the stove. I'm going to add some butter. I already added the butter so the pan is hot. And, I'm, and, it's, got, and it's down low. Make sure your pan is low. 
because you really don't want your your bread to like you know um cook before the cheese really start to melt so make and that's why i say i should have used american cheese i think it would have melted a lot more better than my cheddar cheese did but for some reason i just like oh my goodness this tastes so good with some cheddar cheese you know sometimes you gotta switch it up but again if it's not broke, why fix it, right? <laughs> so my suggestion is that if I was you, I would most definitely go for some good old American cheese. The milk on it is just so much better. But then, like I said, the sandwich was really, really good. So now I'm about to go over here while this do what it's do on low. I'm going to go ahead and chop me up some lettuce. To, yeah, somebody saying lettuce on the tuna melt. Okay, taking us to the next level. Yes, go ahead and cut up some lettuce, cut it up, you know, real nice and fine where I'm doing with this. And it's like the shredded. You want to, you really want to shred the lettuce. So that's what I'm doing, doing some shredded lettuce. And you know, you've got lettuce, you gotta have a beef steak tomato. Y'all know I tell you guys also how much I love tomatoes. So I'm cutting up some tomatoes, cutting up some lettuce, and we about to put this whole tuna melt sandwich together. We about to go over back to the stove and see how the bread is. The cheese is melting. You see how the cheese is melting? Mm-hmm. Add those fresh tomatoes. Then add your nice handful of lettuce on there. And then take your spoon and go ahead and add your tuna. Y'all, y'all can't tell me. Y'all ain't ready to make a tuna melt. Get you some fries or some chips and a Coke. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and we're going to top that on it just like that. And we're going to um, let her sit for a second, and we're just going to flip it. Ooh, this side got a little bit dark, but that's okay. Make sure your stove is turned down. Honey, it's still edible. And tuna coming off the side. We're going to press her down, and she's just going to sit for a second. Just a slight second to let it all come together. Comment below if you a warm tuna melt person or you like the hot cold version. I like it either way, but I really love this hot cold version of this tuna melt. Mm. Now, look at here, y'all. She's coming up off the stove. Look at her. How many of y'all want this? I mean, it's a quick and easy sandwich. It's something different. And you love tuna fish. You're going to love this um, with the lettuce and tomato. It just really took you to another level. I, I thought it was really good. So I'm about to let me go in. I got to taste the piece, y'all. But I'm a, I don't know what possessed me to um break it. I don't know what possessed me to break it, but I broke it. Made it so sloppy. But a good sloppy sandwich is the way to go, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Mm hmm Man, let me tell you, this thing was so good. A tuna melt, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Check out my channel, Sofa T Vlogs. Check out my sister, New Life Journey.